Hello, this is uh, Dave Herman alias Daz on a bonus daily sketch, February 4th, 2017 at 7.44 in the evening. I'm going to put 10 minutes into a screwdriver over here on the left. Uh, you can see my hammer's done now and I did some kind of a pincher over here. Um, just freehanding this stuff in, digging it. So I'm going to show you how I work a little bit. I took a, just a light little chalk and I... Uh, you know, I did some sketching, so this would be typical sketching in that, if you look over here to your left. Just some kind of a light workup to get something on the board, okay? Now, I'm going to go do the, uh, the blade of the screwdriver. Let's just uh, pick out a shade. We want to be in that... Uh, yeah, let's go down on this. This will work. So I'm a little bit heavy for me, just a touch. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to come back in. Just do a little darker. And I'm doing this light. I'm just getting a start to the blade so I can see it. So this would be not a highlight, not a mid-tone, and not a shadow, but just a tone. Just something to show metal to me in my brain and then I'll figure out how to turn this into something cool so first I kind of lighten all that up right kind of make the shape of the blade there'll be some mangling and stuff like that I don't know how much we'll get done in 10 minutes okay so there we go I'm gonna run a dark tone now down one side of the blade so let's go to the outside here for a second and kind of do a shadow, even down the cylindrical, the stem of the blade there. And I'm going to uh, darken that up even more. So I'm going to get my brush tinier. I'm going to come down here, and I'm kind of more defining this edge now, as you can see. A little bit of a treatment. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to go even darker under here and bring that down a little bit. You know, when you're doing with tools, unless you're drawing a brand new tool, being perfectly smooth, I wouldn't worry about it. It's good to have uh, like jacked up tools when, so they look like they're used. And then uh, maybe even sharper yet. So I'll go darker because to show contra to show uh, metal, you always want more contrast between your darks and your lights. You know, if it's something organic, you don't have that shiny stuff that you do with metal, of course. So I'm kind of shaping that blade. And that's a little bit of a edge. Maybe some kind of a definitive thing on the right side here a little bit. Just kind of very light. See, just kind of not too dark of a line. Enough to know that it's creating the border, but not too heavy. All right. So I've got kind of a line. Yeah. And then uh, let's go even more uh, light. So let's start to shape some of the surfaces. I would go even lighter and take this up a touch in opacity. Let's see what we get if we go. Yeah, there we go. There's a little bit of a whiteness. Kind of come down here into some stages. All right, now I get the feeling that I should be in brush 8. So I'm going to that. It's a little more chalky of a look, which means it's not smooth. It's bumpy. It's got a texture to it. I might want to have some old paint or something on there. Let's try a little, like a tan paint, maybe. Something like that, like it's just 
scruffed into the blade, some stuff on here, like it was just scraping some paint. Makes it look kind of cool. Then you got your blade, uh, has a funny shape in them sometimes, so I will kind of uh, take it down here a little, make that like uh, curve, ellipse, kind of, that's not light enough. Let's get a little lighter. It's kind of a, this kind of drags down into here. Kind of shape, yeah. Like so. And then I might uh, scuff it a little down this edge for now. And then put a highlight in it when we get this down. Just scuff and scuff and dark side. Okay, a little bit of this side. And now a highlight will look cool coming down the center of that, a little off center actually, to this edge. So we got a little bump here, and then I'm coming down like that for now, and that's a good start to the blade before I throw in a drop shadow or anything. Then I want this uh, cylinder on top that's kind of like a thimble of metal over the wood, this piece here, I'm going to uh, kind of just drop that in. See, it's just like if I was drawing with chalk when I was uh, an artist uh, traditionally. Before I started fundamentally getting into this um, digital stuff, which is cool. It's cool. Everything takes time. And let's get some of this highlight stuff in here. This metal. Like so. Then I might take, run a little dark here. And now when you're in Verve, if you hold the shift key and set your opacity at zero, you can push this paint around and kind of create like a blur, see? I'm smudging it. Hold the shift, make sure you're in zero opacity. Because you don't want to be dropping down color and pushing that around at the same time. You're, you're just pushing paint. You don't want to add paint. So this is when I add paint, see it looks like I'm adding paint, right? Keep that in, kind of in line with your uh, the shaft of the screwdriver. And then, uh, you know, add some more of the uh, reflective stuff, the way it looks in a, in a thimble or metal, just some kind of vertical things. And you can have a real dark one if you want, you know, and you can change the size of this. And then I'm going to try and hit some wood. another one of these bad boys in there just a little bit darker right up in here okay something like that on the edge all right that's pretty cool for now let's do some quick wood if we can before this cuts off I have never pay attention to that you guys have to excuse me but you know my modus operandi here is just get the shit done okay so you know if I was doing this as a commission project of course um, whatever degree, whatever the level of professionalism I had to take it to, I would. Sketch, reality, however the client wanted. But uh, right now I'm doing a very artistic rendition of these, and yet enough to give you a realism, just without being hyper-real like a photograph, you know. So that takes lots of hours. And it's kind of dull when you do photographic stuff, I think. A lot of people like it. They think they're, you know, it's, it's cool. If you're a person that likes to reproduce things like a photograph, uh, more power to you. You can become a portrait painter or something like that. But uh, I like fantasy sides of things more myself. So I'm kind of just, 
throwing down some rough handle here. I like to be rough with it. <laughs> 